So, uh, somewhere along the line, the camera shut down. I don't know where. But there's, there's enough content on here, it's going to be forever. Uh, so, so far, I put in the intake, I put the carburetor on, set up the gas line, because I want to make sure when I spun the engine and drop down to the... I was having a hard time finding the pump slot, so I just spun the engine. I want to make sure it didn't come off timing. That's going to be the hardest thing to do. I am now in the process of putting the alternator on because I got another hot wire that needs to go on with the alternator. The white wire, remember? It goes to this 12 volts here. So, we're going to put that on and uh, put that on. We're going to crank it to start. Dude, I just bought a starter for this thing. I just put it in three days ago. Three days ago. Right now. Alright, this is how far I got. The battery died on me twice. Uh, because it was a brand new battery, I never really gave it a full charge. So I had the I bought two new batteries. And now I need to buy me a charger that'll fit all three batteries in there. So I can charge them all at once. Train going by again. Let's wait. Here we go. Anyways, this is how far I got. I put the distributor back in, uh, all the wiring. I got the fuel line hooked up. I got the fuel regulator. It's still friggin' pushing too much fuel out for some reason. I don't know what the hell's going on. I just got done talking to another friend, mechanic of mine. I used to be a mechanic, and back in the day when I put one of those regulators on, it didn't have that problem. I didn't have this problem again. We never had uh, fuel, uh, fuel pumps that were in the gas tank pushing out 60 pounds though, 40 pounds of fuel pressure. So I guess it's that. These, these fuel regulators do not work. I, that's my second one I bought, brand new. One I paid $25 for on uh, eBay, and you know, all uh, 6AN stuff. And this is a Spectre from uh, AutoZone. None of them work. It, it, the pressure just goes all the way around on my gauge. So now what I'm going to go do is go find a dial-in one, a cheap dial-in one, one, two, three. I'm going to go buy one of them and see if I can't get that to work. So that's what I'm going to do now as soon as I pack up. This is how far i gotten. I put the alternator back in. Right here I still got to put the AC and power steering pump back up against the block. I got ready to start it up and I just, and I remembered Last time I started it up, I didn't have the fuel lines in it. And I had fuel uh, transmission, sorry, transmission lines back on. Transmission fluid was all over the ground. 
So I stopped right there. And one of my buddies called up. Uh, the guy I was telling you, mechanic buddy. We were talking, discussing all this stuff. And uh, so today won't be the day to start. Tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to go get that fuel regulator right now. Once I pack everything up. And uh, come out tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the best day. 65 degrees at the highest point of the day. Right now you can see. I don't want to blind you guys. But the sun is going down. Right over that little shed area right now. Across the street on my neighbor. And uh, all right, adios, handyman Lou out.